Hello. Initiation of transcription is has a pivotal role about where transcription should start. Whereas elongation of replicacy, the transcription is rather simple and straightforward. The more number of bases keep coming in and more should be added upon. By the RNA polymerase, by simple chemistry, by removing the pyrophosphate. And in that sense, if we were to read about elongation, one thing that should come to us is about reading about the proofreading mechanisms. What would happen if um, if a wrong base has been added, if we can recollect, we said something like um, RNA polymerase makes a mistake about one is to ten thousand, and actually it could be it could have been higher, except because of the error rate could have been higher, but because it has ways of proofreading, it can remove some of the wrongly uh, wrongly introduced bases, and that is called as proofreading. And there are two types of proofreading mechanisms that are present. One of it is called as pyrophosphorylytic editing. And the second one is called as hydrolytic editing. Here we have an example of a, a template on the top and then a growing chain of RNA that is there. And in this location, we have a wrong base added. Cytosine has added um, against adenine or um, adenine and that is a mismatch and it's a wrongly incorporated base so to remove what RNA polymerase does is there are two mechanisms as we said the simple mechanism is to add back the pyrophosphate if we can recollect um, the the mechanism of how the polymerization occurs we have seen that polymerization occurs by removing these two pyrophosphates and the OH, 3' prime OH, making a, phospho, um, a phosphodiester bond with the alpha phosphate. So in pyrophosphorylytic editing, what it does is if this, this was the pyrophosphate that was released, this pyrophosphate is added back so that now this base is free and is eliminated from the, uh, from the pocket so that it will give a new chance for the correct base to come. Say for example, in this case, the cytosine should just uh, cytosine um, with say CTP. Okay, let's just try to write it up. Say we had initially, we had CTP. So when it got added, it is like CMP added, of course, and pyrophosphate. PPI. So in pyrophosphorylytic editing, this PPI is added back and CTP is made and this cytosine is removed from the active site. So now uracil could come and it is the correct base against adenine or adenine so it would get incorporated. That is how um, pyrophosphorylytic editing uh, happens. It is just a, uh, it is just a back reaction. The point is, anytime a mistake, mismatch, or a wrong base is being added, the polymerization rate reduces and it's kind of uh, hovers on the template, and then uh, that is when the pyrophosphorylytic action could happen. There are also other mechanisms, uh, as we said, the one that is called as hydrolytic editing, which is something like removing this whole uh, part of the DNA, this RNA say not just the base that is wrong but more than that some of the bases are added chemically speaking the difference is that it is not a back reaction it is rather hydrolysis of the backbone so the phosphodiester bond is broken and some of the some small stretch of this rna could be eliminated and the rna polymerase will restart uh, uh, elongation from this phase on so there are three Two factors, NUS is an important factor which is important for elongation to occur uh, rather smoothly and uh, it is also involved in termination etc. Cre factor is one that is that promotes hydrolytic activity whenever there is a kind of uh, a wrong base that is added in locations such as these.
i hope the we can appreciate the rna polymerase out of, out of the many actions it also has a proofreading activity not just the um, hydrolytic editing it also has pyro uh, phosphorylytic editing as well thank you very much see you later